Kate, thank you so much for joining us today, man. This is uh, so great to get you in the mix. You've been a Leaf for like a month now. How does it feel? How are things going? Yeah, it feels awesome. Um, they've been welcoming. Um, I can really feel the energy, the passion from the fan base. So, yeah, it's just it's been an honor, um, obviously, to be wanted by a team like like the Leafs, such a, a historic tradition there. Um, so I'm excited. Kate, is it weird being traded before you even start playing pro? It's probably something you didn't really expect, but uh, I imagine it's a positive at the end of the day. Yeah, obviously it uh, it wasn't expected. Uh, I, I had a game that night. I was actually at the rink when I when uh, I found out I was traded. Um, but yeah, it, it's obviously a positive um, to be wanted um, by a team. But obviously, I've I have some uh, business to finish here first, and then uh, look to that chapter. Oh, we're going to get to that. Uh, what was your initial reaction when the trade goes down? Like, I always wonder, especially for you, like you were unsigned by Carolina. You could have been trending towards being a free agent this summer. What's what's like your initial reaction? Like, who tells you, um, you know, what's your reaction when you find out? Yeah, obviously, um, I talked to my advisor a little bit about that possibility, um, but I wasn't too aware that a trade could happen. Um, I was actually at the rink and my assistant coach showed me the tweet. I found out from the Maple Leafs Twitter, um, which was kind of cool. And then uh, I'm usually one of the first guys at the rink. Um, so all the guys were, were kind of filing in and they they were all showing me the Twitter or the tweet and they were all fired up. So uh, it was hard to focus for that game, but uh, obviously it gives you a, a boost of confidence. So yeah, it, it was awesome. Yeah. I believe it. What, uh, who did you follow growing up, Kate? Being from Mass, I don't imagine you were a lifelong Leafs fan. No, no, I'm a Bruins fan. I was oh. a Bruins fan. I was, I was, I was. Um, Good answer. But yeah, that, yeah, that that's changed quickly. My grandmother is a, a diehard Bruins fan, as as is my dad. So it's it might take them a little bit, but I'm gonna work work them over. When you uh, found out you're gonna be, you know, in the Maple Leafs organization, do you realize what they're looking for as far as big, structurally sound, stay at home defensemen, defensive defensemen, shot blocking defensemen? That's you in spades. Yeah, do you do you kind of realize uh, when you look at the pipeline how well that might fit with uh, you and the Maple Leafs being together at some point? Yeah, for sure. Um, just from their talks after being traded, um, that's uh, those are the kind of things they harped on. They needed a, a guy that's long, rangy, um, can defend well, strong, um, and obviously skate. So, yeah, just, just from looking at their pipeline, obviously it could be a good opportunity, um, but I have a long way to go just to uh, continue to develop here. Um, but I think I'm in a great position, and I know they, they develop guys, so um, I'm very excited. You're a big human. Uh, I was going to ask you this question uh, even before I found out you uh, grew up a Bruins fan. So Dan O'Chara, how much of an inspiration has he had on your career and your life? Yeah, that's someone I, I grew up watching. Um, obviously, he was a captain here in Boston. Um, very popular here. Um, just kind of a, a Boston legend. So, yeah, he, he was my favorite player growing up. Um, but, yeah, I learned a lot from him just watching him and and just going to games like that. So, yeah, he, he's been a, a big influence. So you mentioned you got uh, you got things cooking right now. You guys are going to the Frozen Four here. What's the preparation like for that? And uh, what's on the horizon for you and your team right now? Uh, we got back uh, early Sunday morning, around 5 a.m. So we had a couple days off, and then we're back back at it this week um we've been playing some some games the in the first few days and now we're kind of doing some video on denver um getting more into their structure um how, we're, how we need to play but yeah we're on we're on a hot streak um guys are clicking right now so um we're, we're really excited what's the plan uh once your college season is done as mentioned uh, you're still unsigned but is the plan to, to sign with the leafs here yeah it is um I want to finish it, it here, um, but I know that's going to take care of itself. Um, hopefully we win it all and then um, have a couple of days and hopefully uh, figure out the the, uh, the logistics of all that um, when to get out there. But yeah, um, that, that's the plan and I'm excited about that. So on your team, you know, your guys like you, it's obviously you're trying to focus on the Frozen Four and, you know, a national championship and what BU's doing right now. But when you're surrounded by guys like Macklin Celebrini and, and Hudson and these guys whose futures are starting to trend towards entering the pro game, do you guys get together and talk about that a little bit or you kind of keep it to yourself at this point? 
Um, kind of keep it to ourselves. Um, we we want to stay in the moment here. Um, the the, the uh, these kind of memories uh, last for a, or a while. Um, so you just want to stay in the moment, enjoy them, um, and just make the most of it. Uh, we have a special group. Not not many teams come through like this this one. Um, but obviously Macklin's a heck of a player. Um, I think he just got announced for for uh, top three in, in the Hobie. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if he won it. He, he's a he's a special player. And obviously Lane, uh, he does his own thing <laughs> at the blue line. He, he's creative. Um, but yeah, just going against these guys in practice uh, makes everyone better. Yeah, I think naturally you have to hate Lane because he's a Montreal Canadian, right? Whether yeah. you're a Leaf or a Bruin, I mean, that's just a rival right there. Um, so a mutual pal of ours, uh, Colby Cohen, right away when you were acquired by the Leafs, told me you're a shot blocking machine, big time fan of you. How do you grow up playing that game? Like, obviously, you know, you're a bigger type dude. You emulate a guy like Zdeno Chara, but like, obviously, you take a lot of pride in your role and what you bring to your squad, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think I've learned a lot over the last two years here at, at BU. Um, growing up, I always wasn't, I wasn't always a, a blo shot blocking or stay at home defenseman. Um, I wanted to score goals and all that. Uh, but yeah, in the last two years with uh, Coach Kim Brandvold here um, and obviously Coach Pandolfo. Um, we kind of sat down and just talked about that, that guys make it and, and have a long career um, with these types of roles. And I think I just kind of embraced it. I love it. I love any way I can help the team win. Um, the boys get fired up when I block shots. It just gives me energy. So, yeah, I think I pride myself off that. I just just like shutting down the top lines, too. Love it. You, uh, you know, we talked about how you got lots going on frozen for, you know, the, the potential of entering the pro game here soon, potentially, you know, guys like you are, you know, oftentimes they come out and get an NHL game here or there to get them into the mix. And you got your schooling going on as well, which you're trying yep. to, to, to keep on top of, I'm sure as well. What's it like for a young guy like you trying to manage all that at the same time? Yeah, it's, it's, took some time to get used to um I graduated in three years so I'm doing a grad program right now and I was able to have two classes two classes for this this spring um which which has helped a lot um so I could kind of focus more on hockey here um staying at the rink longer just working on little things recovery um but I know when I first came in here it was tough um yeah you have to go to class here at PU um I know some schools aren't like that but yeah, they, they get right on us when you miss a couple. Coach will get an email. So, but yeah, I, I like to stay busy. I don't like to uh, kind of sit around. But but at the end of the night, um, popping on Xbox always helps a little bit. Yeah, you were saying before we uh, started recording recording here and answer this uh, whatever way you want. Um, what's it like being in college, being a hockey player, and like we just smile and laugh because I mean. It, it could be a lot of fun, I'm sure. Like, uh, what, what's that feeling knowing that, like, hey, you're working on your future in two different facets of life? Like, I think obviously in a perfect world, you want to be a full time NHLer for a long period of time, but you got to have that, you know, sort of school background too. Like, what, what's it been like juggling that and just what, what's it like to play hockey in college? Yeah, um, obviously being right in the city here, um, we're a mile from from Fenway. Um, so we, we definitely have our fun in that, in that, in that sense. Um, but yeah, my, my parents always uh, harped on getting a good education. Um, so I graduated with a finance degree, just something that uh, I kind of find useful, um, can be helpful down the road. Um, and obviously just playing hockey here at BU um, these past few years, we've been selling out games, um, just people on the street, just sending sending letters, stuff like that. So, and obviously the, the bean pot's a huge thing around here. Um, so yeah, I, I, I take it. Uh, as a as a huge honor just to to play for BU, especially in Boston. We love our, our Yankees on this show. I won't lie. I mean, uh, you're following elite company. Matthew Nyes has been on this show. Joseph Wall has been on this show. Uh, are, are you familiar? Are you buddies with any of these guys? Like Austin Matthews, American too. Like, do you come across these guys ever? I played against uh, Nyes last year, obviously in the Frozen Four. Um, I've come into contact with them a few times, um, just through mutual friends on our team. Um, so yeah, I think he's closer to my age. Um, so he'd probably be the only one. Um, but I know Drew Camesso, he was on our team last year. Um, so he's a goalie as well. So he's, he knows Wool. Uh, I think just through uh, the program and stuff like that. Um, but nothing but great things. Kate, have you thought about the, you know, the transition to the pro game again? I know you don't want to look too further past this tournament, but, uh, you know, to play 
82 games in a season and and have that grind and that physicality does that uh, something you think about as far as your preparation for the pro game compared to college yeah definitely um college is only 35 to 40 games um, so you have more time to to recover and work on strength and stuff like that so obviously you double the games when you go to pro um but i think the guys here have helped us get ready for that um you got to take care of your body. You have to do the little things because they add up. But I, I kind of like we had the pro schedule here with the bean pot. We would uh, play, take a day off, have one practice and play again. Um, and I kind of like that style. I like just playing games because um, practice, obviously, five days a week can, can get old. So, um, yeah. but yeah, I'm excited for that. Um, yeah, I think I think it will be a good thing. Man, you're you're really picking up steam. Uh, I mean, just to wrap here, you were named the best defensive defenseman in Hockey East. Uh, you also hold the D1 block shots record. Uh, what does all that mean to you? What does that award look like? Do you get a physical award? And what what would what would it be if there was an award for that or given to you? Yeah, after the season, um, we get like this big uh, kind of clear plaque trophy. Um, but yeah, it was, it's, it's a huge honor. I wasn't too aware of the block shots record until our stats, our stats guy uh, brought it up to me, um, before I, I think it was actually before the game I got traded, I broke it th that night. Um, so which, which was kind of ironic. Um, but yeah, it's, it's obviously, um, I'm humbled and honored to be recognized as that. Um, obviously great teammates and coaches have helped me get here. Um, uh, but yeah, it's nice to be recognized. Obviously guys with points and stuff like that are kind of get the most recognition sometimes. So it's, it's nice once in a while just to, to have that recognition. You play a uh, big boy ho hockey and it just came to mind, like Ryan Reeves, what he's doing with the Leafs, like Matt Rempe on Broadway, like the line brawl yeah. is fucking outstanding to me. Like, well, what's your, what's your view on that? Like, obviously you, you bring a bit of a physical element, hard nature to it, to any team you play for. I, I love it. Um, <laughs> Obviously, I think uh, hockey's meant to be physical. Um, I, I love the fighting. I, I was actually watching the game last night. That line brawl was, was unbelievable. Five guys going at it. Um, but, yeah, I think there's a time and a place for it. Um, but, yeah, I'm all for it. I've been working on it with my assistant coach at the end of practice. He's giving me some tips. Um, wow. But, yeah, I think – Pando joked with me. Uh, he says, if you, if you go practice, um, you should learn from Revo. <laughs> the guys will have a lot of respect for you. I was like, yeah, I'm not, not even close to that level yet. I'll probably be out for a couple of days, but yeah, it's awesome. I saw you, you fought again last night, um, against, uh, Janelle, was it? Yeah. It was, yeah. 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 He, yeah, he uh, he, he, he always gets the best out of, out of the other guy and fires the crowd up. So I like that, but yeah, it's obviously something I, I need to learn as a bigger guy and need to be able to protect myself and protect my teammates. I'm always in a content creation mind, guys. Just down the road, you know, Jay Rosehill was a fighter in his day in the National League. We can just do a vid together and, and Rosie can teach him, you know, maybe you still have it. You still have it, Rosie, or what? Yet to be seen. I don't know if I want to <laughs> test that out against uh, a man of Jade's <laughs> size. <laughs> i'm for anyways, it i'm in if, if, if you want to do it let's Anything do it buddy so. uh well anyways th this has been a blast i know we've been trying to set this up for a couple weeks thank you so much for taking some time out of the busy schedule uh good luck uh take home that title for us okay thank you thanks for having me um uh, look forward to being in touch and getting to toronto soon <laughs> Make sure to check out more of our content right here on the Leafs Nation YouTube page. We got long form interviews, we got clips, we got epic rants by Jay Rozo. We simply have it all. And don't forget, you can find out much more at theleafsnation.com. Thanks so much for watching. Yeah.